Hello everyone, welcome to the webcast where we're excited to announce the availability of Noetix Generator for Microsoft's Power BI. Magnitude's Noetix Generator product line is available for a number of business intelligence or BI platforms and is now available for Microsoft's Power BI. Noetix Generator delivers automated, cost-effective access to enterprise application data by integrating Magnitude Noetix views, Noetix analytics, and rapid decisions with your BI tool of choice. Like some other leading BI tools, Power BI does not have a semantic layer that organizes the data into business-friendly terms. This sometimes makes it difficult to find the right data and fields needed to get started producing dashboards in Power BI, all while respecting the enterprise application security. Without Noix Generator, you're left to connect directly to the enterprise application's database and supply the necessary SQL statements to the data you need. Without IT support, this can sometimes be overwhelming and time-consuming. Noetix Generator for Power BI helps to reduce this difficulty by generating standardized, real-time, business-friendly data models for your enterprise application to quickly get started in Power BI. No need to have database credentials, develop complex SQL statements, or have a deep understanding of the application's data model. Noetix Generator also supports and maintains the enterprise application security model to avoid any worry about seeing another legal entity's data. Report samples that answer frequently asked business questions are available to give you a head start and can be tailored to fit your needs. Before we get started, it's worthwhile to understand what is Power BI. Power BI is a tool that allows you to interpret a large amount of data, more than you can in Excel, into visually pleasing, easily consumed digital stories about your organization. With being from Microsoft and having roots in Excel, Power BI brings a familiar interface, making it easy to get started creating visually rich dashboards and reports from a multitude of data sources, such as Salesforce, Excel files, or other online sources. Now with the availability of Noetix Generator, it's even easier to get started using your enterprise application data. Power BI also includes the ability to query your data model using natural language, online sharing and collaboration, and the ability to interact with our Power BI data model within Excel pivot tables. In today's example, we'll be showing you how to create a simple analysis of active customers to help answer the following question in Power BI. What customers are active and what date were they created? I have an example ready where I've already identified the view I needed to answer the question, generate the view into Power BI, and started to lay out my report with different visualizations, value cards, data tables, and slicers. Let's take a look in Power BI Desktop. In my example, I've completed my layout and now I can get started with interacting with my dashboard by clicking on any of the visualizations or tables. For example, to quickly see what customers were acquired in 2003, I can click on a bar within the chart to filter the objects on the dashboard based on the item I selected. This allows me to quickly see a list of those customers and where they're located. Also, I can filter the whole report by using the slicers at the top. In this case, I'll filter to only view customers in the US. To refresh my report in real time, I can simply click refresh at the top to get the latest data from my enterprise application or edit my parameters to change the data being imported into my data model using the provided list of values. If necessary, I can quickly make changes to any visualization or table by dragging and dropping fields. In this case, I want to add country to my data table to know which country each customer is from. I'll do so by dragging the country column into the value section of the table. After completing my layout, I can then publish the Power BI online and go to powerbi.com. After logging in, I can view the, the dashboard I published. 
Once online, the report can be shared, scheduled, or subscribed to. I also have the same ability to interact with the dashboard as I did in Power BI Desktop. Again, by clicking on any visualization or table or choosing values from the slicers. In addition to being able to create reports and publish them online, my colleagues who I shared this dashboard with can also get started creating their own dashboard with the data model by clicking on the data set in the workspace once they've logged, into, logged on to Power BI online. When creating your own dashboard online, you have the same visualizations and functionality available to you as you did in Power BI Desktop. You also have the ability to ask Power BI a question instead of trying to pick the right fields from the list. For example, I can choose to ask Power BI the question I'm trying to answer about my data, such as how many customers are in the US? Through natural language processing, Power BI understands why I asked it and gives me a visualization to get started with, where I can elaborate on my question or continue to drag and drop fields into the visualization to get exactly what I want to see in my report. You may be interested to know you can continue your analysis within Excel. To do this, I'll click on Analyze in Excel from the report menu. This will then open my report in Excel where I can then connect my Power BI data model through Excel pivot tables. Let's take a look at how this works. Once in Excel, I can see the same field names from my Power BI data model. I can then start to create the layout of my pivot table by dragging and dropping fields into the quadrants below. If my data changes or more customers are acquired, I'll be able to refresh my pivot table without having to go back to Power BI. My pivot table continues to have a direct connection to the data model published online. Finally, if you simply want to produce a list of, list of customers in an Excel worksheet, you can double click on the grand total within the pivot table to create a worksheet showing the customer details. So, let me show you how I was able to pull all of this together. The first step of my process was to, was to identify the most relevant Noetics view to help answer my question, what customers are active, and what date were they created? To do this, I use Magnitude Noetics Search. Noetics Search is a powerful tool that allows you to find the right, the right viewer report sample by entering a few keywords into the search box. Simply by typing active customers and limiting my results to report samples, I can see that there is a report sample that may give me a head start on creating my report. The report sample titled, which customers are active or inactive, looks to be a good candidate to answer my question. I also see that the report is using the Noetix view RAG0 customers. The next step is to open Noetix Generator to generate the Power BI report template. Here in Noetix Generator, I'll navigate to the receivables views where I can see the view RAG0 customers. This is the same view that we saw in Noetix Search. After checking, box, checking the box next to the view name, I'll then click on Save. I'm then prompted to set a file location where I want the report template saved at. After generating the report templates, I'll navigate to the file location I selected in File Explorer. 
Here, I can see that there are a few Power BI templates that have been generated. I'll double click on the report sample we identified through NoEgg search. Which customers are active or inactive? A new report will be opened in Power BI. Next, after the template is open, I'll set the parameters from the list of values provided and click on load to begin importing my customer data into Power BI. Power BI will then execute the query, return the results into the data model, and refresh the table in my report. Once the process of loading data into Power BI is complete, we can then transform this table and use the available fields in the data model to customize the layout. As an example, by selecting the map visualization and then selecting city from the field list, I can quickly create a map of where our customers are located around the world. I can continue to add fields such as customer category or create a calculation to find the total number of customers in each city to get a better picture of where our customer base resides. So in summary, we've been able to quickly import enterprise application data from easy to understand business views into Power BI using NoEx Generator for real-time, visually appealing reporting that can be shared online and across the organization. I hope you enjoyed the webcast. For more information, visit our website or request a demonstration for your organization to take a more in-depth look. Thank you.